In this video, we're going to talk about disk cache, which is a great new feature in Pro Tools 10. Here's a, a reasonably large session, and when I play it back, uh, you'll see that the hard drive is working at about sort of 40% of its capacity. So not bad, not bad, um, but I wouldn't want to push it much further. Uh, disk cache will let the hard drive take a rest. So I need to go to the playback engine from the setup menu. Here's uh, the disk cache setup. Um, normal is uh, how it would have been in Pro Tools 9. So that's just taking audio straight from the local hard drive. Um, but I'm going to choose a disk cache setting. Now what this is, is system RAM. Um, so we're going to use system RAM to playback audio. And you can choose anything up to uh, three gigabytes less than you have in your system. So I've got four gigabytes in this system, so the maximum I can choose is one gigabyte. So let's choose that and click OK. You'll see the system usage dialog gains two more parameters, um, the disk cache usage and the amount of the timeline that's being cached to the disk cache. And you can see it's sitting there caching the timeline into the disk cache. Now hopefully I've got enough RAM um, assigned to that disk cache so I can get my whole timeline playing back from RAM. And yet creeping up towards 100%, so that's looking good. Only a little bit more to go, this is very exciting isn't it? There we go, yeah pretty much 100% of the timeline's been cached and you'll see there that actually uh, the disk cache itself fills right up to 100% also. That's a bit of an indicator for me that really I should have a bit more RAM in this system to take full advantage of the disk cache's features. Now, what do I get from having cached the timeline into the disk cache? Well, for a start, I get instant playback. Okay, so I get a much more responsive Pro Tools session. Um, also, look at the amount of work that the hard drive is now doing, zero uh, percent. Okay, so it's taken all the load off the hard drive, so that's really good. Other advantages are that I could use um, a USB stick or a network drive for the playback of my audio. I could also record to those devices, and that's, um, that's a fantastic advance um, and a great feature in Pro Tools 10.